Hello and welcome. I am filming um intro to this video, if you will. So I found these dolls and uh, I'm going to fix them a little bit. And then I'm going to tell you a story <laughs> about them. Uh, they aren't in great shape right now. Because they are old from around 2001 and uh, they're really dirty. They are, I don't know, they maybe they were in some sort of a warehouse. Mm, the outfits are peeling off. The box is opened from the bottom. And I just want to tidy it up and... Uh, then I'm going to tell you about them and why are they cool and important for my collection and, you know, for my collection as a Bulgarian and so on. But uh, yeah, it is late and I just want to film the state in which they are right now. So tomorrow when I wake up, I can work on them and kind of fix them. I'm going to leave these dolls in the box because <laughs> they're collectible item and I'll tell you more about it. And One eternity later. Right, so it's been maybe two weeks after since I bought these dollies and I decided that I'm going to clean them up. I have started cleaning the box with some alcohol and these cotton pads. And you can see that it's dirty. Uh, I decided that I'm just gonna sit here on the couch and chill and just take them out of the box one by one and uh, help them out so this is the first step just uh, some alcohol on a cotton pad and i wiped the outside of the box you can see that the box is falling apart so i'm gonna have to do some reassembling but uh, next i think after the outside of the box is somewhat clean or at least cleaner, I will uh, slide them out of the box and I will show them to you out of the box. So I took them out of the box and since this is not a must produced uh, product, there is absolutely no information or on the box or, or anything. This is how a prototype would kind of look, I think. Uh, I want to put them back in the box and display them in the box. I won't be able to really, really display them for a few years, but one day if I have, you know, the space, I will keep them in the box. But this um, plastic sheet, you can see that it has been... cut by hand and it was just held with double-sided tape so I removed it because it has stained over time do you see this is not dirt this cleaned it but uh, it's just old plastic so it doesn't look good so what I will do I will keep this part and just show it in there behind the dolls and uh, I will display them without it so you will be actually able to really see them properly. So here is one of the dolls outside of the box. She is not held to this plastic box in any way. Uh, I plan on kind of making sure that she's held in there but first I'm going to need to work a little bit on her the hair is very dry and uh, she's kind of dusty 
FU and also let's see this yeah. you can tell that this is kind of homemade but uh, the leather is holding up pretty nicely it's a four leather for its age so I will clean her up and I'll show you the next one so here she is cleaned up obviously her face has yellowed over time which is expected since she is made out of super cheap plastic uh, what I did for the hair and why it's damp I used this, it's not what it says here, it's just an old spray bottle that I had it's essentially what you call doll juice in the dolly circles let's say it's, it's water, fabric softener and uh, hair conditioner mixed and I just spray it and leave it to dry and uh, it will make her hair more you know better softer and less fried i did brush it through just very gently because uh, these sorts of uh, knockoff dolls they don't have glue in their heads so it's going to be super easy to bold her plus she's not very you know this is the type of rooting it's sparse but uh, she has a good amount of hair for watches honestly i tried to ask the guy for more information you know the guy i bought them from but he has no information and he had no desire to answer my questions so there's that and then this is the box this is this stain, I made that stain, it's uh, alcohol because I wiped it down. She has little shoes glued in there. I'm not going to remove them. But I'm thinking maybe I will use these two holes and just soft thread to uh, have the doll secured to her box. But for now I will leave her outside because the hair is uh, damp from the treatment and uh, I want it to dry out otherwise it will leave a big uh, stain on the box and I'm going to clean the next doll. Some of you maybe are thinking that I shouldn't, you know, if it's something collectible I shouldn't be taking it out of the box and cleaning it. Do you see this? It's a bug wing and there is another bug and another bug. Thankfully they are all dead. I did leave the box somewhere where if there were any alive bugs I wouldn't mind them going. <laughs> you know, yeah, on the outside basically. Uh, this is uh, what I'm cleaning with. But uh, yeah. They, they need a clean, most definitely. There we go. Uh, this faux leather, however, is very bad and uh, it's deteriorating. Um, these are just where she was rubbing against uh, the box, I guess, and uh, there was dirt build up there i did clean it a little bit but uh, the dirt build up was because um the fabric was uh, poking and uh, the fabric has a rougher texture that collects the dirt while the faux leather is uh, smooth so you see where the faux leather is still okay there is less staining I did treat her hair and it's still damp. She 
She also has the same shoes, which I'm not gonna take out of her little box. And uh, I will let her hair dry because it's kind of uh, damp from the treatment. Her face is less yellow than the other girls. Obviously, the head and the body are a bit mismatched, but this is uh, very common with the knockoff dolls, which I believe these were originally knockoff dolls that someone made for the music video of uh, their song. But yeah, time to clean the next doll. There we go. So, because this outfit is of two pieces and this become became undone, I just wanted to show you the doll body that she is on. A very typical fakey. There is made in China here, but it's not really here under that angle. You can see it. I did have a childhood doll with exactly that body. And this is the other doll, they are basically the same and uh, I will tell you a little more about the fact that they are the same but uh, that's gonna be in the end scene when I fix them. I just now will dress her back up and will fix the other girl but I wanted just to give you heads up so you're not wondering why am I seeing the same doll twice, you're not seeing the same doll twice, it's just two of the dolls are very very similar. Okay, let's dress her up and fix the next girl. The one who actually lost some hair, this is just wet, it's not dirty, I did wipe it out. But as you can see this was just a knot that was in there, so I removed it. Also, these white specks are this peeling, so I'm being very careful. She's uh, cleaned and now she's gonna have her pictures taken and she's gonna dry out and uh, once they're all dried, I'm going to try to reassemble the box in a way that they're going to be a little more secure in them because they are just rattling around again I don't think whoever made these dolls for the music video I don't think that they thought that someone like me would be reviewing them <laughs> in in such a long time <laughs> so I guess 20 years cool cool <laughs> very cool okay I'll see you in the next clip Alright, uh, I have fixed the dose in a state where if I had shelf space I would have been able to display them. And uh, yeah, I did remove the plastic here because I think it's more displayable this way. The plastic was... it, it wasn't very see-through so I didn't really like it. And now, uh, it's been a while, I don't remember exactly how much I told you about these dolls in the pre-recording when I got them, which is going to be the beginning of this video. But uh, Panterite is a Bulgarian pop folk band, or as we like to call it, Chauga band here in Bulgaria. And uh, they had this song in 2001, I think, that was called Kukli or Dolls. And uh, in the video, in the music video of that song, the singers are in a big pink uh, box that looks exactly like that. And uh, they're in it, they sing, they come out of it. There is a section of uh, the video where a little girl goes to the store and uh, makes her mom buy her dolls. And uh, 
these are well i don't know if these are because in the video there is a shelf of those looking like that so maybe they made five ten boxes like that all and all and so they can make a shelf display store display of them the kit gets one box of the dolls and brings them home sits them down on the ground like in a summoning ritual <laughs> and goes to sleep and uh, then the dolls uh, transform into the singers and they start singing there are also kids singing in the chorus of the song honestly it's not very children appropriate but um that sort of music is not very children appropriate think my anaconda that sort of but in bulgarian and with a very strong ethnic beats and uh, think belly dancing music plus pop music together in one it's an acquired taste i grew up with that music around but i never never could enjoy it because I have always listened to music where I care about the text of the music and about the music, of course. And the music itself is not my thing. The, the lyrics, not the text, sorry. The lyrics are also questionable. But uh, even though it's something that I'm not a fan of, I am very happy that uh, there are dolls made of it because no Bulgarian singer or movie star, we do have cinema, some, some sort of cinema, we do have some movies being made here. None of those have, has ever had dolls made of them in the style of uh, Barbie or other fashion dolls, you know plastic vinyl dolls made of uh, any of those so finding this was very exciting to me i was browsing uh, the local website that we have that is something like imagine vinted and imagine mercari that sort of thing ebay but there are no bits that that sort of thing and i saw uh, panterite dolls or panterite means the panthers uh, those 15 leva and I was like what <laughs> and I went and messaged the seller and I was like I want to order them please send them to me and uh, they did and uh, I received them packaged <laughs> with stuff like that this is a poster of a pop folk singer maybe this is, this is no i'm not gonna say because i don't want to offend anyone i don't i know this singer she's actually a very talented uh, singer but uh, i just don't like the pop folk stuff that she makes uh but uh, yeah this is basically the style and also they had put in little calendars and uh Piner, not sponsored, not affiliated, uh, is actually the uh, studio that records all of these uh, performers in Bulgaria. They have a television that blasts this stuff all day and uh, here are some singers that, you know, I guess are current. I don't really know them. I do like her style. I know this one. She's old school. And I don't know her, but you kind of get the sense of the style of the music. Again, it's not something that I enjoy. I even get a little bit annoyed when I have to listen to it. But uh, it's something that is part of my country, part of my people's way. Let me 
see if that's better. This is actually the singers of the band. And uh, this is not the outfits from the video, but uh, in the video they are dressed like that. I guess they, the, the dolls were and the boxes were printed before the video was uh, captured for the video, so they didn't have a picture. I don't know if that band still exists today. I, I have no idea, as I told you. I kind of avoid that sort of music, but uh, I still have respect for it, even though it's not something that I like. It is something that a lot of... Um, a lot of my friends, like for instance, all of my childhood girlfriends that I used to play dolls with, would listen to, to these groups and to that sort of music. And when we were kids, I guess if they known about the existence of these dolls, they would have been like <laughs> crazy about them. By the way, I'm the only one who still... Uh, collects dolls. I know that one of my friends kept her dolls and uh, I know because I kind of asked what happened to the dolls because she had the most and we would play with her dolls mostly but she was you know she politely refused to sell them to me because she is keeping them for her kids or something of that sort which is totally respectful. I was just being a bit nosy because you know me I would like to um get more dolls if that's possible but uh, yeah I will link the song uh, below I did notice that the song has free license so which basically means that I can play it in the video with free sound license but uh, I'm not going to risk it I will if you're curious, I will leave you the link. Just know that uh, the video is from 2001 and it's very old and um, yeah, the quality is just very old. But if you care to hear Bulgarian pop folk and uh, to see uh, the dolls in the clip and in the video clip and uh, the music video clip, sorry. Uh, I just keep thinking in Bulgarian and speaking in English and that sounds weird, but uh, uh, yeah, you can <laughs> you can check that out. It's, it's interesting. I, I just got very excited. I tried to sort of interview the guy who sold me the dolls because when I received them, they were, you know, the little uh, pocket calendars and... Uh, all of the packaging was uh, posters and there was um, uh, receipt and it said Piner all day which is uh, Piner Incorporated or something of that sort in English which is you know the studio that records this so it's maybe a store that sells stuff from them I asked him if he had more those he said no, because I noticed that uh, in the picture that uh, I saw on the website when I ordered them, these two dolls were different. They were wearing different dresses and uh, I will see if I have the picture, I will insert it uh, here. But uh, I thought maybe he has more dolls and uh, because the box was very beat up and it was opening, Maybe he spilled the dolls and uh, he put the wrong dolls back in, but uh, he told me that he doesn't have them. The picture that uh, I saw on the website is very old, taken years ago, which is strange because I browse dolls on that site every day, believe me or not. And <laughs> I would have noticed them, but maybe they, they weren't selling them there. I don't know what happened. But uh, I tried to ask where the dolls came from. Can he confirm that they are the dolls from the uh, video, you know, the music video of the song or anything? But he just said, no, I don't know. I, I don't know anything. It's as if I was trying to, I don't know, make him confess that he stole them or something. He just didn't care to give me information, I guess. He was uh, like, this not, that's not my job, lady. I don't care. 
that you are a doll collector and you want to know more about uh, your item that I sold you for 15 Bulgarian leva. My job here is done. <laughs> Goodbye. I am guessing this was the mood. But to me, as a doll collector and as a Bulgarian doll collector, I'm very excited to own dolls of uh, Bulgarian group, Bulgarian singers. They, to me, are probably, my version is that they are made in China dolls that they bought and they gave someone like me <laughs> in 2001, you know, someone crafty to make them the outfits. They printed the boxes and they just made them for the music video. But uh, it's still exciting because, you know, if you're from the USA or from UK, uh, there are single singers and actors from your country that have dolls, but from my country, none. <laughs> not even uh, dolls of the world, not even inspiring women. And we have material, let's say, for them to be made. Just nobody knows about my country, so uh, I'm not mad with Mattel or anything or any other company. They have no reason to make them because... No one in the big markets will know them and no one will buy them. So there is no point of making those for a small country with very few doll collectors like we are. So these dolls are very exciting to be for me to add to my collection. Even though I'm not a huge fan of uh, that sort of music, I... I cherish it because it's part of my culture and uh, I'm happy to have found these dolls and I think I'm starting to repeat myself but uh, yeah I'm very very excited and uh, I think I will wrap them in uh, cling, cling wrap stretch foil just to give them a protective layer and uh, I will put them in a sturdy outer box so the packaging doesn't get smashed and one day when I have a doll room they will have a very special place in my doll room because they are Bulgarian dolls which is super cool all right um, this video is getting very long <laughs> uh, but yeah it's very exciting for me so I'm going to make myself to, you know, shut up <laughs> and uh, I will tell you uh, thank you so much for watching if you watched uh, so far video about some fake dolls that are made in the in the lookness of a band that you have never heard of and of a small country that most people don't know um, too much about thank you if you have watched uh, the entire video you're amazing and uh, don't forget to subscribe <laughs> leave a like or dislike i don't mind i like any feedback as long as uh, it's civil and uh, i'll see you on my next video bye bye